Welcome back everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can send booking confirmation messages to your customers for taking hotel rooms bookings in your hotel. And we are going to send those confirmation messages on WhatsApp account of your customers and that too automatically. Let me show you how. So guys, this will be the flow of this automation. Here we are using Pavli form builder to make a hotel booking form. And in place of this, you can use any other form building application as well, like Google forms or Jot form. So here, as in when your customer is going to fill this form for booking a room in a hotel and submit this form, a confirmation message of the, his booking is going to be delivered on the WhatsApp account automatically. And guys, uh, to make this happen, we are using Pavli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And the best part is anyone can set up this automation without any coding skills very easily. So now let me show you how we can also set up this automation. So to start with this automation, first of all, you need to reach the dashboard of Pavli Connect application. And from here, you have to create a workflow of automation. And to reach here, you have to use this link, pavli.com slash connect. And we have pasted the same in the description as well. From here, you can set up your free Pavli Connect account by clicking on the sign up free button. And it will just take two minutes to uh, create your account and you will get 100 free automation tasks for every new month. So sign up right now and log in to reach here on the dashboard. And guys, here you have to create a workflow by clicking on this create workflow button. And here you can give a relevant name to your workflow. So I'm giving the name here as send hotel booking confirmation. on WhatsApp. Right, so having after after filling the name uh, like this, you just have to click on this create button and you can see your workflow page is loading up here. And on this page, you will see the trigger and the action. So guys, automations work on these two things. So the trigger is the happening of that event, which is going to make this workflow know that it is time to run and it will triggers this workflow and the action would be the response towards the trigger. As in this use case, the trigger would be receiving of the form submission of our hotel booking form and the action towards that trigger would be to send a WhatsApp message to the customer. So first of all, you need to set up this trigger guys. So from this choose app field, you have to choose your trigger application, which is Pabli form builder in our case. So search for Pabli form builder. All right, select it. And in the trigger event, you have to select new form submission option. And it will give you this URL. This is called as a webhook URL guys. And with the help of this, we are going to make a connection with Pavli form builder application. And after that, we are going to fetch the response of a form submission here via this URL. Okay, so you need to follow these instructions written here to make this connection. Let me show you how exactly you can do this. So this is Pabli form builder application guys. And here you have to select this form that you have created. Let me show you my form. This is the form I have created with the help of Pabli form builder guys like this. Okay. So the name of this form is hotel booking form. So first of all, you have to choose your form from this list of the forms like this. All right. And after that, you will find this integrations option on the left hand side panel. Click on integrations. And under the integrations page, you will find this webhook section and under the webhooks, you have to click on this add webhook button like this. And here you have to paste the webhook URL that you got here. So just copy this webhook URL and paste it here in this field like this, right? Then click on save and you can see we have added a webhook URL here. And you can see in the workflow, when you add the URL, it will start showing this label and value in the response. Now guys, we are going to click on this recapture webhook response button and it will start showing waiting again. And then we'll perform a test submission. Test submission means we are going to fill the form uh, on the behalf of any demo customer. And we are going to capture the response of this form here in our workflow. Let me show you. I'm clicking on recapture, click on yes. All right, and you can see it started showing waiting for the response. Now go back to the form and let me fill in the details. Uh, so let me fill this form here. So I'm selecting the hotel first, Hotel International Inn. 
and I am selecting the check-in and check-out dates. 10th of June is my check-in. 16th of June is my check-out. Two guests we have. Selecting the package. And here I'm going to fill in the details as this. Nathan Johnson is our customer. The email ID is this. In the contact number, you have to put the WhatsApp number of this demo customer. Then fill in the address details like this. Pay at hotel. Right and accept the terms and conditions and now I'm going to click on this send message button to submit the form. You can see the form is submitted successfully. Let's check in our workflow if we got the data of this form submission. And you can see we have received this response here like this. Okay, so here it is showing the responses that we have selected in the form, the hotel name, the check-in date, check-out date, number of guests, the package and all the details of the customer are here. So you can capture this response by making the webhook connection by, with your Pabli form builder application. Okay, like this I have. And remember to select your form uh, after going to integration section. From this webhook section, you have to select the form first and then you have to add the URL here. Okay, then you can capture the response. And now what we want, we want to send a WhatsApp message for the confirmation of this uh, booking to this customer on this WhatsApp number. All right, for that to happen, we are going to use this action step. And from here, I'm going to choose WhatsApp Cloud API here. So WhatsApp Cloud API is recently launched by Meta or Facebook so that uh, business people can connect with their customers on WhatsApp. So it, they are providing the access to WhatsApp's API and you can set up your own WhatsApp's Cloud API inside the developer section of Meta or Facebook. And if you want to know that, if you want to know how to set up, you can check the videos that we have pasted in the description from where you can learn how you can set up your WhatsApp's cloud API for your business, right? Then after that, you can use it here. So do check the videos. And after selecting cloud API here, you have to choose the action event as send template message. All right, then click on connect. And from here, if you're making the connection with Cloud API for the very first time, select add new connection option. And here it will show you the new connections name like this. And here it is asking for the permanent access token of your API, Cloud API setup and phone number ID and the business account ID. So if you want to know more about the Cloud API setup and how to use it inside Pabli Connect, you can just click here on this here word written in blue and you will reach the forum page of Pabli Connect, forum.pabli.com. And on this page, you can see these videos, how to set up the Cloud API inside Pabli Connect, how to generate the permanent access token, and here, how you can create a workflow in Pabli Connect using Cloud API, okay? So you can see how you can use in the trigger, how you can use in the action steps, you can find all the things related to the Cloud API setup here only on this page, right? So do check this page also, guys. And for these two things, I can show you my cloud API setup. You can see I am in the under meta for developers page. And here I have created this application, my connect message app. And under this app, I have set up my cloud API. And here you can see I am under WhatsApp's getting started page. In the getting started page, you will see the temporary access tokens first, but these temporary tokens expires in 24 hours. So you need to generate a permanent one and want to know that you can check the videos in the description and from this forum page, here is the video. You can generate the permanent access token and that's a one time task guys. Once you get the permanent access token generated, you can use the same token for making for making the connection n number of times with Pabli connect, right? So generate the token and keep it safe to make the connections. And here on this uh, send and sign and receive messages section, you can find the phone number ID. So just copy this and paste it here. Similarly, you will find the WhatsApp business account ID. Copy this and paste it here. And if you got the permanent token generated, you can paste the token here. And after that, just click on save and you will be connected with Cloud API. And guys, uh, once you made the connection by this process by selecting add new connection, 
uh, you can use this same connection because this these connections got saved in this connections list. Let me show you. So once you make this connection after uh, that, if you want to make the connection again in a different workflow, you can use this existing connection. Okay, this option select existing connection. And here in this list in select connections option, you can see all the existing connections that you have with your cloud API. So these are my connections guys that I have created. Okay, so I can choose any of these connections. Let me select this one permanent token and I'm going to click on save and you can see we are connected again. Okay, so after making the connection, it will ask for templates name, the message templates name. So first let me tell you what templates are. So guys from this page only when you click here, you can read to create your own message template click here. So when you click here on this here word, you will reach this place page the message templates page and here you can create message templates. So message templates are nothing but the predefined message structures that we can use to send messages on WhatsApp to multiple people at once. So mass, so you have to create these message templates first here and get it approved by Facebook. After that, you can use it here inside public connect. So to let me show you that template that I am using for this purpose. The name of that template is uh, booking confirmation actually. Here it is. So this is a template I'm using for this purpose. And you can see the preview of this template. This is how the message is going to look like in real time on WhatsApp. Dear Akash, which was our customer. Greetings from A to Z hotel. Thanks for choosing this hotel for your trip or whatever you want to say. Here is this is a standard template guys. And we are going to use this template to send messages to every of our customer. And in this template, we are going to change a few things only like the name of my customer, the name of the hotel, the booking number. These are the things are going to change with every new message. And for these things to change, you have to put the variable tags here inside this message body. In the message body, you can see here we have this one in double curly braces, two, two again, and then three and the four. Okay. So these, these are the variable tags that I have added here or these are called body fields also. So these things uh, you have to put these fields here in strategic places in your message template so that you can change those things automatically and dynamically with every new message. All right. And to create such a message template, let me show you the process. You just have to click here on this create message template button. And here you will find these three categories in which you can create the templates the transactional category, the marketing and the OTPs. From here you can select any category. Let me select transactional. Here you can give a name to this template. After that you can give you can select a language in which you want to send the message like this. All right. And after that click on continue from here. And on this page, you will find this header option. So you can put a header inside your template and in that header you can send a text or media and in media you can send an image a video or a document right and here in the body box you have to enter the main body or the main message that you want to send so you can just type the message here like this and if you want to add those variable fields here just click on this add variable button and this uh, the tags got that the tags will be added here like this okay so you can add a footer and the button also in this template so after completing the template, you have to submit this template from here. Okay, right now I'm canceling this. And after submitting the template, the Facebook is going to review the template and approve it and it will take just a few minutes. After that, you can use this template inside your workflow to send messages automatically. So from this templates name field, you can see the list of the templates that you have and from here, select your template. So for now I'm selecting this one booking confirmation. All right. And you can see the language code and the template ID is filled up here. No, no, no need to do anything here. It is asking for the recipients mobile number. So in the recipient mobile number field, you have to enter the WhatsApp number of your customer. So you will find the WhatsApp number of your customer from this first step where we have fetched the test data and in the contact number field, you will see this number. So I'm going to use this label here to map the numbers here. So just click here 
and you will find this previous step in the drop down and from here only you can map the mobile number contact number label so when you map the labels like this what will happen whenever you uh, f get a form submission from your customer these labels are going to change and a new message will be delivered to the new customer that's it right so this is important to map the number so here you can see you have to enter the number in this format with a country code like 91 for India and without any plus sign. So remember to get the number filled in this format only. All right. Here it is asking for the body fields. So as I have already shown you that in my template, we have four body fields. So first is for placing the name of the customer. Second is for placing the name of the hotel. Second is for, uh, Second is for the hotel name and third is for third is for which thing let me show you the preview. Okay, so third is for destination from uh, where your customer is traveling you have to put here in the third body field. All right. In the fourth one you have to give the booking number of the per to the person. All right. That's how you can identify that the customer is booked or not by booking number. Right, so let's map these fields guys to get these fields to get these body fields change automatically with a new message. We are going to map the values of these fields here in the workflow. So we are going to use the test data from the first step to map the things. So just come here and click here on the name field and from this first step map the name of the customer like this. Second body field here I'm entering the hotel's name uh, label third one is for the destination let's check if the person has selected the destination or not so he's not selected that so you can enter it manually also so if your hotel is located in goa or in dehradun or in shimla or in manali you can enter the name of the place here so manually okay so i am entering here let's say mumbai so that is not going to change with every new message because we have entered the name of the place manually and we can enter it manually because our hotel is at Mumbai only. So there is no, nothing to change here with every new message. And so in the fourth body field, I am going to map this ticket ID here. So a ticket ID is generated uniquely for every form submission. So you can use this for booking a uh, number. Okay, so just map it and we are done okay let us check the third body field again thank you for choosing it to set hotel for your goa okay so here actually you have to put it like this for your for your stay in mumbai so that will be look good in the message template okay and now you can check your connection with WhatsApp by clicking on save and send test request. And this message is going to be delivered on this WhatsApp account. And I have the access to this account, guys. This is the WhatsApp account. And let me show you how the message is going to look like. I'm clicking on save and send test request here. And you can see this is the response we have received. And we have received a new message also in WhatsApp. Let me show you what it is. So guys, this is the message I have received. You can see the message is this. Dear Nathan Johnson, greetings from Hotel International Inn. Thanks for choosing Hotel International Inn for your stay in Mumbai. Okay, and your booking number is this. And you can see in place of the body fields, the tags are changed automatically and the tags are the same according to the data that we have mapped here in these body fields. Okay, so this is how it is going to work in real time guys and we are done setting up this automation. So you have to set up this automation only once after that as and when any person is going to fill your booking form this is going to run automatically and these messages will be delivered to your customers automatically and the best part is you can use the same workflow that i have created because i'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. 
and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel